Hey, it's Jonathan. Welcome to my channel. So, I haven't been on for a while. Uh, <clears throat> but last night, we had a electrical fire. So, what happened is, we woke up yesterday and our hot water heater was uh, not working. So I tried looking at it, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. <clears throat> I did all the testing, went through, found out the upper thermostat was not working. <clears throat> it was not reading properly. So figure, okay, that's what I gotta do. Next day is just go ahead and purchase a new upper thermostat and install it. Well, last night, had this funny feeling and it just the it was just go go look at it go look at it don't look at the components and so I just just look at it <clears throat> and I was looking and I saw our dryer uh, tube that the, the aluminum coil that gets out all the co2 and all the dust and stuff that wraps up around it and I saw it touching this metal couplet and I saw this black mark on it, which I've never seen before. And I thought, oh my gosh, it, did it get hot? Did it burn? Is that a hole? So I go to touch it, <clears throat> and just sparks fly. Just plasma. <laughs> and I've never seen fire move so fast. It lit up everything. And I'm like, oh, crap. I didn't say crap. <laughs> I apologize. But <laughs> I'm like, oh sheesh <laughs> get out of here so i yell at my wife who's pregnant due to have a baby any day <clears throat> i'm like get out of here <laughs> get upstairs so i, I run and i uh, go in and turn off the uh, circuit breaker that gives power to the water the heater and uh it all stops I, I get back down and i start putting out multiple little fires that started everywhere uh super smoky um still coughing a lot from all the smoke that came up from it and uh it's we were lucky because that could have happened the night before and it could have sparked off and caused a lot of trouble and we would have been trapped because uh, that room is like right there and it blocks our master bedroom and then up above is all the kids' rooms. So the smoke would have come up and luckily I installed CO2 and fire detectors downstairs. So we had like a million of those going off. The kids did not wake up. So, oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> so we, we live in a rural area. We got everything packed up and took off, went to our in-laws. My in-laws, uh, my wife's parents, down in South Jordan, and uh, just got them squared away. Got my wife to the hospital today to get checked out, um, to check on the baby, uh, due uh, next Monday. But uh, baby's okay, everything's fine. And uh, kids thought it was fun. <laughs> They're like, cool. <laughs> Listen to nice, uh, calming music um, on the way down. Um, so I'm back today. We're not out of the woods yet. I came back. We had an inspector come through and check it out. My father-in-law came in and checked it out um, just to oversee and bring the keys up so I could be down in South Jordan near the hospital with my wife in case she did have to go and have a, the baby early. Uh, they're watching the kids. Very grateful for that. Came by myself and I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this again and try and fix it. So we could get some hot water and <clears throat> we had an electrician also come by and uh, apparently it, the hot water tank was never grounded, right? Uh, but I can't tell you how much of the community people at church, from outside of church, people just generally in the community um, 
what the, the fire chief, uh, our commissioner, <laughs> like everybody was uh, extremely welcoming and and said, hey, you could have stayed at our place. You could do laundry here. Hey, no, you don't need to drive far away. Um, everyone was pitched in to help. I got recommendations for like five different electricians. All of them were like not full-time electricians. Small town, everybody does things on the side, right? Um, but we got one down from Pocatello and he uh, said, yeah, this wasn't grounded and yeah, you're, you're lucky because <laughs> you could have shocked. It, it could have hurt you a long time ago. And the thing is, is we haven't touched it for like three years. It's been like that. Before we moved into the house, we asked that they cap up all the loose wires because there's tons of loose wires that they left. Um, and some of them they did and others they didn't. And with that one, that looked like a grounding wire. And I, I'm like, I'm sure they knew what they're doing. <laughs> and uh, I should have looked at that more earlier. But I'm very grateful f that I had the impression to check on this and have my attention directed towards that and to have been working on that all day the other day so I can kind of understand some of the problems that were happening. I'm grateful for all the family and people who came out to help. It's funny because yesterday I was, I was studying Oneida and and the Hebrew and native root words to Oneida and just saw how, uh, to me it seemed like another, in a sense, another term for Zion. Excuse me, I had in and out on the way here. And uh, I'll be doing a video on that later. I'm still getting on my research and doing a spreadsheet, but yeah, it's it's hectic sometimes, but I mean, it was funny, I was laughing. Uh, I said, Didn't, doesn't Revelation say woe well, unto the women who give suck in that day with little children and that they will uh, let not your flea be in winter or something like that. <laughs> and I'm just laughing. I'm like, ah, man, because the fire cometh, right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, gosh. Uh, and honestly, like, when everything was going wrong, I, I mean, it's inconvenient. I'm like, ah, I really don't want to leave. Oh, but there's so much smoke in the house. and uh, Yeah. But in the end, it's like thinking of that story of Job, thinking of anybody, really, any, any other person. Everybody has different trials. And <clears throat> so I, I try and constantly remind her, myself and my wife and kids that, hey, these are our trials and let's be grateful that they're not different trials. Um, things like I, I feel very grateful that even in the midst of trials that there are so many people willing to help um that's that that's what zion's all about this stinks but it's a miracle it's a testament we were able to identify a problem that had been going on just before our next child's birth will be better prepared for the future and uh, just all around great even though it was awful <laughs> I, uh, I know I'm goofy but uh, there are much worse trials I've had much worse trials and and just the fact that it, it just seems like so much of a miracle and blessing to be able to have that happen so fast and be preserved and not let it happen when we were sleeping. So I'm just very grateful for that. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Happy New Year. Whatever trial you're going through, hey man, it's okay. <laughs>
Or is reminding my wife? <laughs> like, hey, um, it's, it could be worse. We could, you could be right on the back of a donkey. We could be going completely to a different city <clears throat> for the sake of a census. Then we could not find room. And then you could give birth in a cave. And then you can have the, the leader of the area try and kill your kid and kill every other kid in the midst of doing that and then free, flee to a different country. Yeah, I mean, there's people all over the world going through significant hardships. I have friends in Africa. I have friends in the Middle East and uh, Facebook friends. I've never met them, but uh, they tell me about their days. They tell me about their grandmother who's sick. They tell me about preparing for a mission. And uh, they've got completely different trials. And the fact that I feel like I've had very little to offer people lately, and then so many people to come in and uh, be there for us right off the bat. Miracles, that's Zion. And if they could do that for me, I can find something to do for others. We could, we could be grateful and see the miracles in the awful things that happen. I kind of just expect things to be hard. <laughs> I, I, when things are going well, I'm like, uh-oh, something bad's going to happen. <laughs> so you may think I jinx it, but um, I'm never disappointed. Well, I get disappointed, but I'm never shocked. No, I've been shocked. Well... I'm prepared. How about that? There we go. That's a good word. Prepared. You guys have a good day.